Hello everybody, my name is Kaylee, and today we're filming another makeup tutorial because what else would I be filming? <laughs> today we're going to be doing another Nate Wants to Battle look. Uh, this one is from his music video actually that I recreated and it's from The Wrecked and the Worried and I'll have my editor throw up uh, the pic from the music video and my original makeup recreating it here. <laughs> And luckily for my sake, and for anyone else's sake, if you're recreating this, though I doubt it, I haven't seen anyone do it for any of my looks, um, there's no special effects involved. There's no scar wax, no liquid latex, nothing. It's just body paint and regular like beauty makeup, like eyeshadow, just you know to make things look more cohesive. Just because water-based body paint is um, can get very streaky. <laughs> Since my last video was a special effects tutorial, I feel like I had a lot of blabbering to do in the beginning. This one I really don't. It's We're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> so right now what I'm going to be doing is just taking uh, a black cream paint out of the Ben Nye uh, Master Cream palette and outlining parts of the design, mainly the top red lip and the tongue right about here. Um, I apologize if I shift off camera this way a lot uh, during the time lapse. I have a reference image over here from when I first did the look back in December of 2018. Uh, and I can already tell my eyebrows are so much better than what they used to be. Took like a while of shaving off the tails to finally get them right. Even then, I'm still not fully consistent with them. They change all the time, just like any artist's like art style of how they draw. Don't ask me how I do my eyebrows, because it will be different every time. I just make sure they look good. <laughs> Right now, I'm just basically going to fill in the lips with a uh, red cream paint, uh, Ben and I again. That's basically all the cream paints I have. Um, and then I'm going to draw the white teeth also with cream paint because it's just easiest and it's more opaque. So yeah. Nate's newest cover album, thanks for more covers, it's out on Spotify and iTunes and I think everywhere else where music is streamed, fucking go support it! <laughs> Links in the description! <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, what I'm going to do is just take this, uh, Meron Paradise Makeup AQ brush, which I had to buy because if I didn't buy body painting brushes, uh, I wouldn't be able to film this video. However, if you do want to help me out in the future, uh, I will leave a Ko-Fi link down below and any money that goes towards that goes towards uh, helping me buy makeup in general, special effects makeup, beauty makeup that I use to create content as well as do my job once I can after COVID is done, which is being a professional makeup artist. So if you are willing and able, no pressure, to uh, donate to my Ko-Fi, please do. If you can, if you want, if you are able, not pressuring. <laughs> Little donations mean the world to me, so if you're able and willing to help out, uh, it really does mean a lot. So thank you. So I'm going to be taking my Meron Paradise AQ um, 818 and just taking it in some black water-based body paint, which is also Meron, and going around the teeth, and then going down into here until I hit the outline of the tongue, and then we'll start on that. Apologies again, by the way, if I dip off camera to look in the mirror, it's just easier for me to see. The ring light back here is really blinding, and a phone is just hard to use as a mirror. <laughs>
before I move on to the tongue and the black on the neck, I'm just gonna take some cream paint real quick and touch up the teeth and the black just around it. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to take the Paradise Make Fake You 825 into this like kind of darker pink shade and that's just going to fill in the base of the tongue. Okay, now we're going to be taking two liquid lipsticks to do like the shading and like contouring of the tongue. And we're going to be using NYX Lip Lingerie in shade Exotic and in shade Cheekies. Not Cheeky, Cheekies. It's weird to me, I don't know why. <laughs> what I'm gonna do first is take the shade in Exotic, uh, which is actually the lipstick I was wearing earlier in this video and that's how I'm going to be making the creases in the tongue, you know, to give it some depth. And then now I'm going to be taking the lipstick in the shade Cheekies and then highlighting the creases and then just the outside here of the tongue again to give it dimension and make it look more 3D. to make the highlight pop a little more, I'm going to take this light pink shade in the James Charles X Morphe palette and put that over where I put the lighter lipstick just to help highlight a bit more. And then I'll find, I'll either use the lipstick or another shade in the palette to help uh, shadow things a little bit more. For the shading, just so I don't have to deal with the liquid lipstick again, I'm going to be trying to use this kind of berry shade right next to the light pink that I just used. And I'm using the Morphe M524 for both of them. I'm just using each side of the brush. And again, now taking the Paradise Makeup AQ818, uh, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of black around the edge to add some shadow, give it more dimension. I feel like I've said that word five times in this video, but it could just be doing a bunch of outtakes. Uh, and if I need to, I'll just use some black eyeshadow to also create that kind of like shadow effect. done with this makeup look. Um, it works a lot better when you have a black background to cancel this out, but it looks pretty good. And it's one of the quickest, actually probably the quickest makeup look I have ever done. This only, I've been filming for about maybe, let me see, hold on, two hours? Yeah, about two hours. Um, normally like, especially special effects makeup looks uh, can take me anywhere from like two to 10 hours. If you want to know what makeup look took me 10 hours to do, it was the shoulder part on the Take Me Anywhere makeup. I had to sit for 10 hours, hunched over, to work on my own shoulder. I will probably never do a tutorial on that for that purpose. I also don't think I have enough latex and cotton right now, and I just... Latex and cotton gives off a very weird texture. Uh, it's not very smooth. That look for the music video that he did, it was a pre-made prosthetic. I don't want to recreate that with liquid latex and cotton ever again. So please don't ask for that, for my sake. But yeah, this makeup look is done and this is the second Nate Wants to Battle look that I've done a tutorial for. Um, I do have a few more on my Instagram that people have been requesting tutorials of, one in particular, which is also just a body paint. Um, and that one will probably be the next one that I do. But if you guys have any other requests, 
even like makeup tutorials or even other videos that you would like to see me do, I don't know, uh, you can put them down in the comments below. Uh, Nate, if you're watching this and you got through this, thank you. <laughs> I know you said earlier in a live stream today that like when I asked you, you were like, I don't have the attention span for that. <laughs> but if you watched this, thank you. <laughs> it means a lot to me. But yeah, now I have to go shower this all off. Luckily, I film in my bathroom, so I just hop right in after. Um, if any of you were wondering what works well to take off like body paint and special effects makeup, Dawn dish soap. I'm not even kidding you. Don't wash your hair. Do not wash your hair with this at all. Don't wash your body normally with Dawn dish soap. I feel like that's something I have to say. However, if you are getting body paint or like special effects makeup off your body, Dawn. Gently Dawn. It works. Trust me. <laughs> It works on spirit gum if you scrub hard enough. And spirit gum, for those of you who don't know, is the worst thing to try to get off without the remover. It's really a pain and Dawn helps with that. It gets, it gets anything off really. So yeah, if y'all were wondering how long it takes to get this off, if you use Dawn dish soap, not very long, at least for special effects. Like with body paint, you can typically just use regular soap and water. Cream paint is a little more stubborn to get off, I will say. So that's another place where Dawn comes in handy. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a nice shower and get the soul off. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, links to my socials, um, as well as some of Nathan's stuff, like the new cover album he just put out. I'll put a Spotify link down there for that. Thanks for more covers. It's amazing. Go stream it. It's awesome. Um, also put, again, my Ko-Fi link down there in case any of you want to help support me and this channel. Really, it's just this channel and then my career. So that link will also be down there. And... I think that's pretty much it. If I forget anything that I just said that I'm putting down in the description, it'll be there. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> I'm tired and I wanna get this off me. I've been in a bathroom alone for two hours. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will see you in the next tutorial. I just stole Markiplier's outro by accident. Bye bye <laughs>